Let's talk about one of the biggest problem with wipe coding today. That, in my opinion, is lack of specifications, not the ability of coding agents that we have today. I think they're pretty decent. You see, when you provide a very simple text prompt to your coding agent, whether it's cursor, codex CLI, cloud code, Gemini CLI, they have to make a lot of assumption on your behalf, which leads to errors. Instead, you want to have a very clear description of the features that you want to implement, along with a highly detailed technical plan that will also include the tech stack that you want to use, different features that we want to have, essentially product requirements document. And then you want to divide that into manageable tasks that the coding agent can either do in parallel or do them sequentially. So this brings us to specs driven development. Now we have seen quite a few different implementations. So for example, Kiro from AWS is a good example of this. The problem with Kiro is that it can be extremely expensive, but now GitHub came up with their own spec kit. The beauty of this is that you can use it with your existing coding agents. In this video, we're going to look at how to set it up, what are the different capabilities, and also we're going to talk about when not to use this. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to use this specification kit, we need to follow a four step process. In the first step, we're going to specify what exactly we want to build. So this is going to be a simple text description. Here, the focus is going to be what and why, not on the text tag that you want to use. Next, we have the uh, slash plan. In this step, we are going to define all the technical details, what the architecture is going to look like, and what are the text stack that we want to use. And don't worry, the agent is going to actually help you refine this. The third one is to create individual, manageable, and actionable tasks that the agent can perform. So these are going to be the task or feature implementation that the agent can either implement in parallel or sequentially. And the last step is to use test-driven development for actual implementation. So all of these steps are going to be performed as custom slash commands, which this framework implements for you. Now, the beauty of this framework is that you don't need to install anything at all. All you need to do is just copy this command run it in the IDE or a coding agent of your choice, and this is going to download the template for you. So let me walk you through how this looks like. So we're going to copy this. Okay, so we're going to just paste that command in here. We need to change the project name. So I'm going to call it image nano banana. Now, when you run this command, you're going to see the interface, and you need to select your coding agent. I'm using cloud code, so we're going to select that. It's going to download project files specific to cloud code. So in here, if you see, it created another folder. So we have dot cloud folder where you have plan, specify, and tasks. These are the custom slash commands that are going to be implemented for you. We also have memory, which is used by the agent for context management, and then scripts that are going to be run by the agent at every step. And then we have templates for the agent to use for planning, specification, and the task that it's going to create. Now, let me show you one quick thing. So if I go back to my terminal, and if I type ls, it actually has that folder in here. So if I trigger Claude, now if I type slash plan, we don't see that command because we are in the root folder right now. So for this, we need to exit. So let me go back to that folder. And now if I trigger Claude again, we should be able to see that slash plan command. So the first thing that you want to do is to use slash specify command. Here, you're going to specify what feature you want to implement. From what I have seen, it works with a completely new project. I haven't really figured out a way to implement a feature in existing code base. This seems to have the capability, but I haven't seen an easy way to do it. Okay, so I'll show you an example project that I was trying to implement with the spec kit. So here I provided a simple description of a product or project that I want to build. We're going to be using Nano Banana to create images of a person in different style based on an uploaded image. So I provided this quick description to GPT-5 and it came up with a pretty detailed product requirement document. Now we're going to use parts of this 
because in the first part we just want to specify what we want and then architectural and technical details in the planning stage okay so i basically copied the first part that was functional and non-functional requirements of what exactly the app is supposed to do so now it's going to create specifications based on our text description so at each step it keeps updating the files that it's working with especially if you look at the scripts it's going to execute different scripts so while the agent is working you can see the updates that it's making so for example right now it's updating this specs file that it created for us so based on our initial requests here are the different functional requirements that it updated in some cases it may ask you for further clarifications so that, those are going to be tagged as needs clarification so you will have to provide more details so for example you're going to see something like this need clarification in this case it seems like everything is pretty clear to the agent so it's not really asking for any clarifications now during the planning stage i am going to use some of the technical details that i collected this also include the api implementation so I'm going to ask it to use the prd.md file. It has information regarding how to call the API. If not, then it's going to do its own research in order to implement the plan. So this stage is going to use the specifications with the functional requirements and will come up with a detailed uh, technical implementation plan. Okay, so in the rest of the video, I'm going to show you another project that I have been working on because this takes forever. So for example, here's this a very similar design. First, during the planning phase, it does research. So it's going to use its web search capabilities to collect information regarding the implementation. Then it comes up with a design where it's going to update multiple markdown files, which basically really documents everything that it's going to do. Based on the design, it came up with about 45 different tasks that it was supposed to do after that i used the slash task command the slash task command was going to pick one or more tasks at a time if you use sub agents and there are independent tasks you can run them in parallel but in my case i had to run them sequentially now every task is marked as 001 and then two three and so on and so forth so depending on the complexity of the task it can take a while Okay, so finally we ended up with 59 different tasks, which is a lot for an application like this. So four of them were related to setup, then testing, integration testing. You are going to see that it really focuses on test-driven development, which is pretty great because it makes sure that everything actually works. However, it can be very slow in implementation as well. So for example, here is a set of tasks that took about an hour and 18 minutes. Then there was another one which took five minutes. I think in total, it went well over two hours. So for some simpler projects, this might be way too much time rather than just using cloud code to directly implement it. However, for more complex projects, I think this is going to be extremely helpful. Now, the great thing is that the agent is very thorough. So for example, here is an example of the data model that it came up with. And I think if you're just starting with coding, so by reading how it designs and define the specs, the plan, as well as the implementation tasks, you can learn a lot from this. And what I liked was that during the whole design and implementation process, it kept updating cloud.md the way a normal human programmer would do. So that is pretty neat that it has support for these different coding agents. Now, that being said, it's not a fully polished product yet because this is the first iteration. So if you are already coding with something like Cloud Code or Gemini CLI or GitHub Copilot, I think it's definitely worth checking out. But keep in mind that it is going to add this additional time for implementation of very simple projects as well. It's still running. It's been a couple of hours. Still, I haven't finished the implementation, but I'm going to stop the recording here. Do check it out and let me know how your experience with this new spec-driven development toolkit is. And what do you think are the strengths and weaknesses? Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.